Hello everyone, ladies and gentlemen, dogs and cats, fish and bulls, how is it going? Welcome, good morning, good evening, and good night. These are the, what the, what the cards in Match Bowers look like. I'm going to be showing you them because I did say, um, the Bad Order cards and the player abilities. Stats are digital. The art and everything is still hand-drawn, handmade, but the stats are digital. I'm basically just going to be showing you what they look like. But also, I got these printed as tests to see what the cards would feel like to have in person when I upload them to the Game Crafter and what things I probably need to do, like if they come out darker or brighter or whatever. And so there's there's a few screw-ups on some of the cards. I'll point them out. But um, with that being said, let's begin with the Battle Effect card. I... I got two of them printed, but you don't know, any one of them. So, Battle Effect card, it's pretty much what it was before. Just the colors changed a little bit. It has a navy blue border and red bordering for the Battle Effect, and that's pretty much it. The only new thing is that batteries on it, because uh, energy is in the game now, but that's pretty much it. Also, the rule videos should be coming out soon. Um, and then after that, after the rule video, I'm also... Then going to upload the official, like, cards onto Untap, so then you guys can actually get playing again. Because there, there's no, like, official rules out right now, because the last rule video, uh, the rules have changed a little bit. And then, yeah, you know, you, you probably get the gist of it. But anyway, let me show you the battlers first, because you guys are probably wondering what these look like. So here... Is probably the best looking official one right now is Shark Hiron. I only got four of them printed, so out of the four, Shark Hiron came out the best. And there he is. That is what they look like. My opinion, you don't have to agree. I feel like it's better. I feel like it looks better. I, I mean, it is better when it goes to reading it and using the actual card. It is better because it is much more easier to understand. But yeah, besides that, I feel like it came out super good. And then Shark Hiron is a common. And then where is... There's a rare right there. And then, yeah. So, that's... I mean, that's pretty much what they look like. Exclusive cards look like this. They have EXCL. They're XL rares, which means exclusive because that's the front of exclusive. And then, of course, they also have the little exclusive tag up top. And actually, that exclusive tag thing... Is actually blue. The word is blue, and the border of it is blue. Or, like, navy blue, I should say. You probably can't really notice it, but it is. And, I mean, yeah. It's pretty much what they look like. I mean, again, I feel like they look better. You don't have to agree with me, but I, I like them a lot. They ha uh, Og right here. Oh, you have Og Dog. Five-point card. He uh, got a new attack name from Mech Rifle. It's now a Mecha Rifle. I know. You can, um... You know, keep your pants on because it's a pretty big change right there. But um, this is this card has a mess up, which actually sucks because George is my favorite out of the four, and it, it just sucks because I messed up on him. If you know a, if you know the stats of a three point card, you can already see it. But anyway, George the Rogue again is an exclusive card. Poison daggers three for seven, quick moves six for five. That's what it should have been. Should have been a five. But it's accidentally a 9 because I probably just copy and pasted the 9 point. 9 point. Uh, the, uh, one of their attacks, which I probably did and just forgot to change it. But these cards just are tests anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It just kind of sucks that it happened to be my favorite card out of the 4. And then Blowgunner also has a little bit of a screw up. It might be a little bit hard to see. But there's like a random line... These two text boxes, the blow gunner and the rarity one, should have been moved up just like one more pixel and it would have been good. But um, yeah, so sneaky shot, toxin dart, one for five, four for seven, three point card, and that's pretty much it. Actually, blow gunner looks a little bit blurrier, a little bit more blurry than these ones, but I think it's because he's such an old card. But anyway, let's get started into the um, player ability, shall we? Sit down, have a couple of tea, a couple of biscuits, here we go. We're going to begin with... This one, fatigue. So here we go. This is what they look like. Well, as of right now, I'm, I am going to make a change to them most likely. And I'll point it out right here. So fatigue, you see this box, the text box that actually has the effect of the player ability. 
I'm going to make it, you see this color down here, that bottom white color or the color, the white of the battle effect card. I'm just going to make this whole entire box that color. I'm not going to give it like this weird gradient that every other text box has because I feel like it's, I just don't feel like it's as appealing to see dark up here than light when you're trying to like read something, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to change this to just be like a solid color, but um, that's pretty much it. To the um, player ability cards, there is a screw up on close call though. Wait a minute, so here's fatigue, nothing changed about this. There has actually been a few changes to the cards though, I'll point them out, but fatigue, nothing changed. The energy is down here, and the name of the card right here is actually has personalized colors, so like fatigue is yellow, close call has blue, veggies has green, and you know, just whatever color fits the card, just to give it a little bit more character, a little bit more color, just like the battlers. George the Rogue has a lot of orange and gray. Augur's got, like, orange and yellow and stuff. And then Shark Hiron, because he's underwater, because he's a fish, a shark. He's got blue, so. Fatigue. Next one is Close Call. Once you start reading the effects, you can probably already see the screw-up. Whenever a battler of your battlers is beaten. Like, what? What just happened? Wait, 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 wait. go back. Whenever a battler of your battlers is beaten... I don't know why I worded it like that. I didn't even mean to word it like this. It's like I was just like, I don't even know. I just like saw it and then just completely just like cross-eyed and just looked around the card because I didn't, I have no idea how I um screwed that up. It should have been just been um whenever one of your battlers is beaten. Actually, no, not even. It should just be like whenever a battler of yours is beaten. I don't know why I put whenever a battler of your battlers, this should have just been a battle of yours. I mean, it still actually makes sense, but it's it's not like, you know, it's not the best way to word it. Also, uh, close call is clutch. I played a few games with this card, and whew, I'm gonna have it in my deck. It is clutch. I literally won because of it. And that's how good it is. So anyone who thought it was bad, um, get out. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but it was it was really clutch. That was really awesome. But we have veggies here, which actually it does have a change on it, and. You know, I just, I'm gonna make this whole entire text box just, like, one color, because, I mean, the the dark gray up top isn't bad, but it's, like, I feel like it would just be better if it was solid. Plus one health to one of your battlers. You can bring back a battler with veggies if it was discarded. The battler you heal is worth two less points until your next turn. This can only be used once, and it costs three energy. I added this last part, the battler you heal is worth two less points, because... Veggies can technically just sabotage you. If you heal, let's say, let's get let's get Og Dog in here. If you were to heal your Augur, he would be at one health, so because you can only heal one health. And then you were to roll an attack for him and he gets good and then you attack with Augur, right? And then it's and let's say you're only at like nine points and they kill Augur, then you just technically gave them five points or like let's say actually this is a better example let's say you also have a one point battler and you got a five point right here and you're at like four points the one point battler they can't kill you meaning they can't get you down to zero at the one point but if they just hit auger once and you're at four points of health you're gonna lose and if you bring them back you put yourself in a bad position you see what i mean that's why i added this part so that doesn't happen to you but um anyway so next one iron guard no problem with this card. Just should have made the text box a little bit, like, you know, solid. Or at least maybe change the dark to be, like, down here. But, you know, one energy. And then Wraiths. Wraiths is pretty interesting because it turns into a battler or battlers. So, when this card is used, and, I mean, this shouldn't be capitalized. But when this card is used, it becomes two three-point battlers at two health with these stats... Gatling turns roll a 5 for 7 power. Hunt down, roll a 4 for 5 power, which is the 3-point battler stats, because that's what they are. These battlers cannot attack until your next turn. This card is definitely going to be a little bit more confusing to use than, like, a normal battler. But, basically, it is a 3-point, and then let's just pretend that this is also another Wraith. And it's, it's at, actually, it's at 2 health, so, it's, you know, it's at 2 health. And when it can attack during your next turn or whatever... If you roll a 5, you then you get 7 power, and if you roll a 4 for 5 power during its, like, 
um, attack dice roll numbers. Like, you know, like when you roll the base, you add it up, and then once you're on the attacks, you try to get a 4 and a 5, and if you do, you get those powers. So pretty much, it's, it's pretty simple. It's harder to use, though, than like a normal battler, of course, but besides that, it's pretty simple. Here's Trap. AKA best card. Now again, this card sucks. <laughs> no, but player ability trap. And yeah, no, nothing changed for trap. It's the same thing. Did I tell you it's four energy now? I don't really know. But um, there's trap. Trap's pretty darn good. Trap's actually pretty darn good. It's actually really darn good. And then armory. I'm gonna keep this one off to the side because there's something about this card and another card I gotta show you. But armory. Nothing really changed for it. It's probably the most, like, basic card. But yeah. Oh, here it is. So, power charge. One thing, power charge's art looks better on this than the original. But anyway, player ability, power charge, cost one energy, and the effect of it changed. Plus three power to all of your battlers that are attacking this turn. This can only be used once. The reason why I kept armory off to the side is because... That is the exact effect of armory, but it's just a little bit different. So for two less energy, it's only allowed to be used once. Which, it seems pretty useless to do this. But honestly, I feel like it could be pretty big. Because um, paired with heavier player abilities, like for example, um, Wraiths being at 8, Blood Forest, and like you know some other player abilities that are actually in set 2, I feel like having armory just add you know I, I don't know i just i feel like i don't really know how to explain it but it's like having the one energy for the same effect instead of spending the three could it be big i mean it's only allowed to be used once though but the original effect of power charge if you're only attacking with one battler plus four power to its attack for a two energy that effect is actually going to be put on to another card called Crystal Blade. If you guys remember when the spells were in the game, Crystal Blade was like the most classic card. I'm going to be bringing that back with that effect because I, I feel like this one should work. If it doesn't, I'll give Power Charge back its effect, but if not, and it and this does work, Crystal Blade is going to be added. And depending, I'm going to be testing three player abilities per deck instead of two. And then if that's the case, which I, I think might happen... So if there's three player abilities per deck instead of two, that's going to be the official rules. So I'm going to make the rule video and everything. And then I'm actually going to be adding Crystal Blade into set one. So there's going to be 15 player abilities instead of just 14. But um, anyway, Sharp Shot actually got, I would say, a buff. Get rid of one battler effect on an opponent's battler. This can only be used every two of your turns. That is new. That was not there before. And then it costs two energy instead of three. So, that's actually the same thing that happened to Toxin Fumes, but um, we'll get to that when we get there. So, Sharp Shot, Shut Down, nothing's new besides its name is Purple, the only purple one as of right now, and it still costs 3 energy. Uh, Blood Forest, nothing changed, but that it's a really awesome card, and the red of it is a little bit darker than Power Charges, which makes sense. And then Toxin Fumes... Actually, has the same exact change as Sharp Shot. So it used to cost three energy, but it didn't have that. This can only be used every two turns of part of it. But now it costs two energy, so it's one less energy to use, and it now has that part. And then Sweet Nectar is the same as it was, but I put um this can only be used one meaning you uh once meaning you cannot stack this. Just made it a little bit more specific because it says plus two points each turn for the rest of the game. And then when it says this can only be used once, some people may think like, wait, well, like it says the rest of the game, but it can only be used once. But it means that you just can't stack this like effect. And then finally, Medic. Actually, no, this one's probably the basic one in the game, but you know, nothing changed the Medic. And that's basically it. So thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to see more. This is what the player abilities look like. Holy crap, what's up? The Sun. And then we have the battle effect card. And then we have, of course, your boy overpowered George the Rogue as representing the battle cards.